Hi, I'm Alex Howard, and welcome to this short video, which is an invitation to join us for an eight-week course here on Conscious 2 called Living the Path of Love. If you've been following Conscious 2 for a while, then you may remember that Raffia Morgan did a two-day workshop called Sex, Love and Prayer here on Conscious 2. And Taria has very recently done a three-hour live stream into the heart. Now, Raffia and Taria together are co-founders of a teaching called Path of Love. And this is the first time that elements of that teaching has been offered in an online format like this. So we're really excited here at Conscious2 to be working with them to offer this uh, eight-week course. So I've got Taria here with me in the studio. So thanks for being here, Taria. Hi, and hi. thanks also for collaborating with us on this. We're excited to see what happens. Maybe it'd be helpful just to give people a bit of a flavor of some of what you and Rafia are going to be covering in the eight-week course. Great. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Wonderful to be here. So um, living on the path of love is... The path of love has been a process that we have been leading since 20 years. And it's in one way a very modern process, but in another way the path of love is an ancient mystic path, you know, that uh, today is very well known through Rumi and Hafiz and um, people like that, mm. poets like that. So what we, are, what we will do in this uh, series is we're trying to really bring the elements of the path of love into, see if we can bring that into our daily life today. You know, and the m main elements of the path of love have to do with, of course, with the heart. You know, it really is centered in the heart. You know, allowing yourself to feel your heart and allow yourself... Uh, the first part will have to do with what we call divine discontent. Mm. You know, so many people are really discontent and they think it is a depression, but actually it is the heart calling for something else. Mm. And that is the path of love, really, you know, yes. to recognize that and to see that. It's like the invitation for, to wake up, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And many people don't recognize that because they don't really know the terminology or they don't know that discontent or, or even depression can be something else. Right. You know, and that is, a, for many people, a great insight. And that then leads to the recognition of, I have a longing to find something different in this life than yes. just outer things that anyway don't satisfy the real, real longing, you know. Mm. So the longing is a very important, um, yeah, you could call a tool on mm. the path of love, you know. It's a very, very first and strong feeling and most people will relate to that, you know. You just, it's just like I always say, it's God knocking on your door. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. that's, that's the kind of one of the first elements that you're going to come to. Say a bit more about how, how the course will unfold from there. Well, once we feel the longing and the divine discontent, recognize that, that I'm here for something else, we then, of course, will feel what we call the pain of separation. You know, we, will, we, do, we do experience that we are separate from our most inner, most true nature. You know, however, there are many words for it. In the Sufi tradition, it has no name, hmm. and I like that. The nameless, you know? yeah. Yeah, so because uh, otherwise it's just associations. So once we feel the longing, the pain of separation will also be there. You know, we feel a deep grief that we have lost the most precious connection, you know, from very early on. And we try to fulfill that through lovers, through husbands and wives and all kinds of things, you know, mm. but recognizing that that is something deeper and it happens in my heart, of course, is a great relief for many people, you know, mm. to see once I allow myself to feel that grief and go through that pain of separation, it is the doorway into the nameless, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that is a place in our heart. Yes. You know, yes. so that's the second, that will be the second part of the um, teaching. Yes. Yes, and then from there, just you say a bit more about the, the last two modules? The, from there we will move into, um, we, we, you know, we will move into something what we call all the barriers are in on my side. Hmm. It's just to face, you know, many people uh, project their darkness on the outside, but 
for me, part of being, walking the path of love is really owning your own darkness and owning your own shadow side and take full responsibility. It's not just about being out there and being in the light the whole time. You know, for me, it is the darkness is as much part of me as the light is. And that's the work, how to bring awareness to it and how to be responsible and how to, how to honor that and how to be able to live that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so that's the third part, very important part, you know, and many, of course, many people would love to have it out there or, you know, <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> Project it yeah. onto the world. Yeah. yeah, the boyfriend, you know, yeah. you said. So yeah. it uh, that's a, takes a real awareness and a really willingness to face yourself. Yes. Yeah, yes. but essential for me on this path, you know. Sure, sure. And then the fourth module? The fourth module will be about inner commitment and celebration, of course, you know, um, to be walking this path, any path, takes a tremendous commitment. You know, you, you need to have a deep, deep sense of commitment for, even if things don't go so well, mm -hmm. you are commitment to be on this journey of wakefulness, you know, yes. you, you need that commitment. And you also, it's about commitment and at the same time we also need a passionate engagement in life. You know, so many spiritual groups are about disengaging yes. from life, you know. But my feeling is uh, if I do something that I'm passionate about and that I really love to do, it's also wonderful to be engaged. Yes. You know, how to be passionately engaged and also at other times not engaged. Right, to be able to have that balance. <coughs> exactly, those, you yeah. know, to be in the world but not but off not the off world, the world. <laughs> right. yeah? Yeah. yeah. So and and just to see how we can bring that understanding, you know, those two very often very extreme things, bring them really into presence and bring them together. And of course, the most important thing is spiritual work is often very serious, or practice are very serious, yes. you know. And I think celebration is an important part of it. Yes. You know, not to take it so seriously, and you know, we do mess up, but we need also to have some celebration in there, you yes. know, some joyfulness and so that will be kind of the ending. <laughs> and it's going to run over eight weeks and so yep. there's going to be these four core modules and then alternate weeks there's going to be these live interactive Q&A sessions. So exactly. either you or Rafia, so diff one of you each time, will be taking questions from and interacting with those going through the course. So it's a way of bridging the kind of teaching elements with actually people having that contact. And I guess that contact's quite important. People being able to kind of have their questions answered and kind of dive in a bit more deeply with you guys. Yes, I think questions, answers are really important. Life teaching is also important. There will, of course, we will lead meditations. We'll do, you know, we will do guided inquiries. And question and answers is important because you want to have direct contact. Yeah? For me, it's also good to feel that I am engaged with whatever the people who are listening, whatever they're into, and how we can support and, and um, yeah, help each other there. Yeah. And, and also, who is this course for? Is it for people that have already done Path of Love, or is it people which are new, or is it, is it for both? It's actually for both. It's mm -hmm. for people who have done Path of Love. They will be m maybe more familiar with it, yes. most likely, yes. because of course it's some of the teaching that we do. But it is really for everybody. Yes. You know, because everybody, many people will be drawn to it because, you know, after all, m what we mostly long for is, we, you know, most people want to be loved. Right. Yeah, it's one of our basic needs and so much of our life is around love, you know, yes. how to love, how to be loved. So I think it's yeah. like for everybody. Yeah, <laughs> and I guess for, for those that have attended Path of Love, it's a way of supporting the integration of that teaching. And for yes. those that are, are new to it, it's a way of having a real taste and dive into some of the, some of the elements exactly. of that teaching. For yeah. the people who have done it, it's a wonderful way of integrating and, you know, finding a deeper meditation and a deeper commitment for your own inner. And for new people, it'll give them an invitation to, um, yeah, live the path of love. Wonderful. Well, 
I'm really excited to see what happens. You know, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a real treat working with um, you and Rafi on the previous projects. So it'll be really fun to do this. And I'm really excited what it's going to do for people that are joining us for it. So thank you, Toria. Me and too. I'm very excited. Thank you great. so much. Great. And if you want to join us for Living the Path of Love, then you need to be a paid member of Conscious2, or you can pay to access just this course on its own. But if you join Conscious2, you also have access to all of the other workshops and content, including Sex, Love and Prayer, the two-day workshop with Raffia, and Into the Heart, the three-hour event with Taria as well. So there'll be a great support to also going through the eight-week course. So we really hope you'll join us here on Conscious2 to be part of this. And thanks for watching.